Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nut and welcome back to Bioshock in our Let's Replay series. We're still in the uh, apiary, the Silverwing apiary, I think it was called. And uh, we're gonna try and uh, collect some B enzyme. And for that, we need to be inside this room. But sadly, the room is filled with deadly hornet swarms. Because, uh, well, there are a lot of those. But we have uh, a few thingies here, the smoker control mainly which will allow us to temporarily calm the bees down. Uh, before that, I'm going to take a little bit of a precaution. Uh, that was not the precaution I wanted to take. Yeah, that's one of the precautions I wanted to take. Let's put that right in front of the door. And then let's switch to the uh, grenade launcher, put a proximity mine on it. And that's our first line of defense. And this will be our second line of defense. Because uh, we're going to be ambushed by splicers the moment we activate this thing. So uh, let's keep incinerate handy. And uh, use the smoker control. And now we're going to go inside. We're uh, temporarily free of anything. So there goes one. They're going to explode a few times. So there's, I think there was an electric wire here as well. So let's try it. So let's try and hit everybody who comes close. You can hear the clock running out. So now the bees are going to return. I need to go back. There we go. Okay, everybody's down. Except for maybe... So that's weird, they should have come through here, but I'm gonna assume they just spawn here. Uh, so maybe I can actually put one of those I just made right here. Don't explode in my face, please. Yeah, thank you. So let's just drop that and not throw that in my own face. And uh, well, let's just try that again. Uh, I could use insect farm actually, so... Again, let's just use the smoker and that should temporarily allow us to search every beehive. We need to be careful a bit. So there's... we need two more. I don't think there's much use in... Uh, so the thing exploded already. Our piercing rounds. I think we have. So I don't think there's anything of interest here either, so let's... Oh shit, let's... Uh, I'm still inside. I'm still inside. Yeah, okay, we're outside. I don't think there even are any uh, audio diaries in there. I think, I believe. So that's everything we needed for the Lazarus Factor. And now we can simply turn back and, uh, well, try to create this thing as well. So uh, as you saw, the bee, the insect swarm, just distracts enemies and slightly damages them. But if you have uh, the wrench lurker equipped, that actually also counts as an unaware enemy. So you double the damage of your wrench while somebody is distracted by your insect swarm. Which is also pretty cool. So there's an Eve hypo that wasn't there before, I think. Maybe I should reload that and just take it now that it's here it has a little hat on it which is also pretty funny uh we're still gonna have to take a look around here because i think there's a few areas we haven't been in yet so that's where the people were hung so if i'm not mistaken there should be another tunnel around here somewhere okay yeah my wallet is full so it don't really have a use for that. Use the crawl space over here, and there's another AccuVox. Desperate times. Dr. Su Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. 
If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become of free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So this is a very interesting one. We already knew that Andrew Ryan controlled the splices through some kind of pheromones he put in the air. But the action itself was made possible by Su Chong, who altered the uh, structure of plasmids, who, uh, which caused in turn to have every user susceptible to those pheromones and thus susceptible to uh, control. You need to be pretty careful because I still hear a big daddy over there. Uh, so this is the area we haven't been in before. This is also the area where that rocket launcher turret is placed somewhere. And so I need to be careful. So now he's attacked by a splicer. A splicer who's apparently very interested in me. I... Jesus Christ, what's going on? Jesus, what the hell? God damn it. Can I take pictures of these guys? Yeah, I can. Okay, never mind. So that was a lot of splices all of a sudden. So let's whack this thing down and give me some first aid kits. Thank you. Because I don't think there's actually that much here, but we do get access to a few... Because uh, there's a splicer downstairs. Oh yeah, okay, so this is where we've been already. Because uh, this place is a bit of a maze, so I need to catch my bearings as well. So the rocket turret is over there. There we go. So let's hop down. So he's dead because of the oil slick. Hello, Big Daddy. Let's take a few pictures of you. Ruzi loot almost always contains rare invention materials, which is a, a very nice upgrade. It's not the maximum yet, so I'm gonna just take another one. Oh, that was not that was the wrong button I just pressed. As usual. Yeah, hello, sir. Uh, I am wondering, do we have the code for this? I'm not really sure. Because I don't really think so. I think I would remember if that was the case. Another dead Rosie. So let's take that. And first encounter. On my walk today, I had my first encounter with a pair of them. He, a lumbering Toluca, and a. Oh, would you fuck. Like to get this thing crafted already? Atlas, shut up. Here. Atlas, shut up, please. Thank you. On my walk today, I had my first encounter with a pair of them. He, a lumbering Toluca in a foul-smelling diving suit, and she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. And it was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish they could make them more presentable. So there we have Andrew Ryan's first impression of a little sister and a big daddy. Not that positive, if I uh, might say. So, and then we have another one. Hatred! One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off. I shot, get away from me! I can see the animal oozing out of the corner of her mouth. It's thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face. Dirty clothes. And that dead glow in her eye. I feel... Hatred. Like I never felt before. In my chest, bitter, burning fury. I can barely breathe. And suddenly I know... It is not this child I hate. It is herself for what she did. Okay, the subtitles kept standing there. Uh, so yeah, a lot more information about Little Sisters. Uh, well, mostly impressions by uh, a lot of the characters. 
about what they did here. Oh, I just put that guy in the shelf. So let's see, there's another U invent here. I don't think we have need for one right now. The only thing I really still want is that uh, that door opens down there. So I think I know where the audio diary for that is, but I still need to find a way inside of that room. Uh, so let's see here. Let's take that corpse, put that away. There's nothing in here, nothing in here as well. Um, because I think it's the audio diary that's inside of the room with the corpses. Uh, so let's check that out really quickly. So we have this crawl space over there. Which has the corpses. And there is another... See, we can see another thing over there. Which should be... If we have it correctly. Up here somewhere. So it's not that one, because we... Except, maybe... Oh yeah, it is that one. Never mind, never mind. I'm stupid. Open up! Yeah, there we go. So now we can get through here. Which doesn't really seem to have anything. Just gonna take one of those cheese wheels. Ah, okay, never mind. That just triggered me. So corpses are always the best way to... Uh, keep wondering why this is here then because it doesn't really show anything new except for the fact that there's a health kit over there which doesn't really help me out anyway so uh, let's give me a second so I did a quick Google search and apparently the uh, code is uh, well the the audio diary for the code is only found a lot later on in the game for some reason so I'm gonna just input the code right now, which is 0512, uh, I think it was, yes. There we go. So this is in an area a lot later on in the game, so that's why uh, I'm just gonna open the door like this. There's not much in here though. Electric gel, armor piercing round, so mostly materials to be uh, handling big daddies. Uh, and not much else apparently. So. With that done, I think we did pretty much everything there is to do in the farmer's market, except for that tonic over there. Because this is the room where we uh, activated the rocket turret. So there we go. Get more EVE with every first aid kit by using new EVE Link 2. Uh, don't really find a use for that, so uh, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Let's take the pep bar though. Don't really need to hack. Well, maybe I'm gonna hack this one. Even, let's buy out. So you can uh, buy out every hack you can do as well. So, uh, there we go. Let's fill up a bit. Um, and let's buy some more film. Because we have way too much money. I know it's a bit weird to say that, but we have way too much money. Uh, there's nothing underneath the stairs. So that's that. We're done with the... Uh, Farmer's market. Let's take a few more pictures of this big daddy. Oh, this is the big daddy we found before uh, So this thing is still kicking And there's a proximity mine and an Eve hypo on the back of it So let him just fire away. I'm gonna leave it at that and we're gonna head back to Arcadia and try to make the Lazarus vector Okay. Hello. Damn it. Nobody. <laughs> so because of our research, we uh, kind of can predict where Houdini splices will teleport back to. And that gave us a, a larger advantage against them. So, back to Arcadia. What the? Oh, okay, never mind. So we're not going to spend too much time anymore in Arcadia. We've uh, seen pretty much everything there is to see. And uh, there will be a lot of uh, extra splices Don't now. The inevitable. Run out of oxygen. Fuck. Just so let's check out the map. We've been uh, alerted ourselves without we uh, triggering anything. And... 
We need to go to a bot shutdown. So if I can keep continuing, I should eventually find one on the right, it seems. Let's take a few pictures of these guys on the way. I think maybe, maybe of the bots. There we go. Your enemies have been upgrading their security, so you need to upgrade your hacking ability. Get Security Expert 2, the latest from Hacksmart. Greatly reduces difficulty when hacking turrets, bots and cameras. I might actually do that. Although turrets, bots and cameras, most of them are already easier because of the uh, research we've been doing. There we go, extra damage as well. Because there are three, I can actually take a lot more pictures. Jesus Christ. So there we go. So if I go this way... And try to dodge the bullets a bit. Should be getting to a bolt shut down around here somewhere. No, that's a health station. Fuck. I think I uh, took a wrong turn there. Where am I? No, I'm... Wait, what? I'm supposed to be right at it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, we uh, took care of the uh, the bots, the security alarm. Yes, somebody is there, but I'm trying not to get caught anyway. Um, and Atlas just was talking about the posters we've been seeing around. Because, well, I think he was triggered because of the fact that we saw a few over here. Yeah, there we go. Who is Atlas? So, those, those posters. Uh, indicating that he was a political figure at some point. Opposing uh, Andrew Ryan in the in the clear of day, and that didn't work out so well as you might imagine, because we've been uh, opposing Ryan ourselves, and that didn't. Okay. Hello. Yeah, you're not my better. I think you just died. Hello, Big Daddy. Did I take pictures of you? Yeah, I did. Hello, hello, hello. So, back to Julie Langford's office. I think that's a splice over there, so that shouldn't be a problem. And let's uh, create the Lazarus Vector. That should be nice, right? Bringing uh, a couple of trees back to life. Now, important thing here is that we uh, set up a bit of defenses. The annoying thing here is the big daddy, because we might actually accidentally trigger him which we don't really want to I'm gonna keep this handy so the third is ours uh, but because of the big daddy I can't really put any traps around because he might trigger them so let's just uh, try to do this the old-fashioned way now shall we I might put this thing just over here just so I can shoot it if the need arises inside the oil slick and then let's activate the Lazarus factor because, yeah, I kind of spoiled it, but we're going to get ambushed. Okay. Yeah, goodbye. There we go. The Eve Hypo. There's another splicer here. Where did that guy come from? Did they kill each other or what the... No, that was weird. I could, of course, try and put a few in the hallway. Now that we uh, have the opportunity to do so. So let's put one right down here. There we go. There we go. And then let's put another one just around the corner. Because there's one over here as well. And leave a few nasty surprises for uh, anybody who tries to get in. Uh, let's check the U invent. And there we have the Lazarus Vector. So we have plenty of each ingredient. Look at that, distilled water, 18. So uh, let's create the Lazarus Factor. So we have that, and then we have the automatic hack tool I think I'm going to make. We can make a few. Oh, why not? Uh, armor piercing rounds, I spend a few. And that's 
make a few exploding bugs as well. They dropped that because I'm at full, but I'm gonna equip it. So now... That was weird. So, now we need to put it in the central misting control, so let's do just that. And now, all hell is gonna break loose! Let's take this body. It seems Julie's death didn't provide a clear enough lesson to you. Perhaps this will suffice. Will this suffice? Ryan's got your number. No doubt he'll be sending company. Best to head back to the lab entrance and seal her up. Might be the only way to keep the splicers out. So now we uh, kind of triggered a few things. And, uh, well, splicers, of course. Let's head in. And now that we have this little baby. There we go. Let's seal up the entrance really quickly now that we're here. Oh. That's great. Thank you. So ninety dollars in automatic hack tool and six proximity mines. Yeah, we did. We also have a big daddy here, which might actually be of use. Hello? Okay. This thing opened and nobody appeared. That was weird. It, are they in the tunnels? Oh, look at that! They're trying to get in, but they can't really. Uh, I think I might actually take another explosive, if there are any. So let's just uh, stand in front of the door and blast them if they come through. I could also just... Here, here they come. I don't, don't think there are any. So that was actually pretty easy, aside from the Houdini Splicer now doing the rounds. Where the fuck is he? Damn it! So yeah, exploding bugs are really good against people, because, well, they are just set to flame. Just need to be careful not to walk through their burning corpse. Did you? Oh, that was. Yeah, goodbye. So let's just heal up a bit. I think I hear the turret spinning up again. Are you, uh. Yeah, there we go. Oh! So that was wave one. So let's go with Insect Swarm to uh, make them doubt themselves a bit. Let's take out the grenade launcher and let's stand in front of the door now. Hi. So we can't get damaged by our own grenades, so... Oh shit, yeah, that was... That's, that's, that's annoying. I just triggered the big daddy as I was afraid of. So let's go with electric bugs. Ah, fuck. That was bullshit. Ah, so that was what I was afraid of, that I would uh, accidentally trigger the big daddy. So let's just go for the... this thing here and let's buy a few first aid kits yeah we're halfway there there we 
we go. So sorry, Big Daddy. I didn't mean to attack you like that. Because uh, you got caught in the blast a bit. Look at you, filthy. Yep, there we go. Maybe I should uh, just take a stand over here. That was not supposed to happen, but... Maybe let's just leave the explosives over here so that I don't accidentally hit the... Well, never mind. Never mind. You don't want to hurt me. So let's just use their corpses against them. So that's a bit annoying. Are you dead? Yes, he's dead. Um, are they coming or... So this is gonna get old really quickly. I mean, they, they just plainly die by getting a corpse stuffed in their face. Okay. Yep, there we go. That was a that was a good noise. I'm waiting for the fact that there are still splices running around, but hey, let's just go over there and uh, activate it. I'm gonna quickly reload this as well. This has never been used. So never mind. I think there was an Eve hypo over here and more exploding bucks for me. So let's get it out. There we go. And look at that. Well done, lad. Take a deep breath and enjoy it. Then head over to Roland Hills and get the Bathosphere. Next stop is Restored the Forests. So now we're gonna go to Andrew Ryan's house and look at that, the green is uh, coming back to this place. So, let's head back and uh, we're gonna head towards our next stop. And our next stop is probably my favorite area of the game. So uh, let's head to the Bathysphere station. And uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is your problem all of a sudden? That was not what I wanted to. Nope, you missed. I just... Okay, just gonna, gonna do something else here. It's time for electric gel. Goodbye, Big Daddy. That was... I don't know why he was aggressive all of a sudden, but... I didn't harm him there. Maybe one of my turrets attacked it. I have no idea. You cannot carry any more. So let's just fill up with everything we can. And, uh, yeah, batteries. There we go. Okay. God damn it. Why the hell did he attack us? But, Battlesphere Station, that's where we're going, because next up is, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it, because uh, I'm going to take a little break as well. Oh, wow. Did she just take the brunt of that? Wow. She, she didn't care about that grenade, did she? But hey, so here's the Battlesphere Station. Well, here soon, I presume. Why are you so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a man from his soul? You're not CIA, are you? You belong to Atlas. The one roach I can't seem to exterminate. Don't worry. I just need time to find the proper poison. So Andrew Ryan is still uh, happy to kill us. So let's pick up the great chain. I believe in no god. No invisible man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us. A combination of our efforts. A great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different 
either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck. Hmm, five dollars for a coffee, that seems a bit much. But hey, and this is a nice uh, hint of what we're going to, uh, Cohen's collection. So, next up, we're gonna head into the Bathosphere, but first I'm gonna take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And next up, we're gonna head to uh, our next area. So, uh, see you guys in the next episode, and uh, goodbye.